All right, so here I am spreading out the road base that I just poured. Um, and this is the extension of the porch that's gonna end up a grill area and a patio. So let me back up and show you how I got here. This porch that I built with my brother's help is an extension of a 20 by 20 cabin that I built that I didn't have video rolling. So I don't have great footage of the build, but I do have pictures. So I think I plan on creating some kind of video showing um, this, the process of building this, this cabin. So Now it's time to start building the countertops. I'm gonna dig holes and use just concrete blocks with four by four um, legs and uh, build kind of an outside kitchen. Um, I have an old sink that I'm gonna size it to um, and just have lots of counter space for the grill area. see the boards that I use in the back of the granite here and then I'm also going to put some shelving in with some 2 by 6s Alright, so now we're starting the concrete 
um, as a one-man show and sometimes some help from my boys, I'm only able to do a little bit at a time um, because when I start, you know, from start to finish, the starting part will start drying before I even finish laying it in a form. So, and I have this little Harbor Freight mixer, a couple hundred dollars. It's definitely given us our money's worth. But um, and none of my none of my concrete's perfect. So, um, and I basically don't even try to do the same um, size squares or rectangles in this one. Maybe one day I will, but. Um, in this one, I'm just going to kind of do an abstract uh, setup to where none of it's supposed to be um, the same size or, or um, all, you know, uniform. And that way I can, it's, you just kind of look past my mistakes, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, oh, it's supposed to be like that. So I have this old wire fence. Um, it's almost like a, a cattle panel it's i'm not sure exactly the size but it's it's decently thick um, and i know it's not as good as rebar and it's not as strong but i believe it'll uh suffice um what do you think if there's any concrete guys out there let me know should i keep using this or should i immediately stop so I'm not replacing all this stuff in a couple years I got a feeling it'll be just fine but uh, so either way check back in 10 years and I'll give an update
Just FYI, Lowe's sells these uh, bags of concrete mix for uh, by the pallet, 60 pound bags and 80 pound bags. Um, this took about a pallet and a half, but buying it by the pallet's quick and easy, and it's good times because then at the end of the project, you're left over with a half a pallet of bags, which is like 20 or 25, and now you just gotta create a new project. I mean, you gotta use them. Are they gonna get moist and will rained on? And you know, you just gotta use them. Having someone to hold the water hose and to spray the water while you're using one of these mixers and using bags like I am um, is definitely helpful. You can absolutely go faster. Um, and then I've also found out, which we did <clears throat> on the very last one, is my, my nine-year-old was holding the shovel instead and, um, and moving around the concrete as I mixed it and held the water, which I believe that went even faster.
the finish, getting them straight. And uh, it seems like you definitely have to concentrate on getting the exact right amount of concrete to the edge before you do these lines so you can match the surface level of the next piece and not you don't want a huge crack and the reason behind these cracks are you're kind of um, telling the concrete where to crack once the ground shifts at some point which is pretty much inevitable um, at some point you know it's going to crack so you you're telling it where to crack instead of you know right in the middle of it about 80 60 pound bags of concrete mix they are right about four dollars a piece so 320 dollars worth of material uh, it's uh, 10 foot by 12 foot is the size of this little patio um, the length of time it took me to do this clearly it was in uh, different on different days um, but I would say overall, um, just a little while.